Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft All the Mods 8. Today we're going to be showing you how to make and use the warp plate. The warp plate is an awesome little block that'll allow you to transport yourself instantly between two locations, and those locations can be extremely far apart. It's also pretty easy to make and something you can make relatively early game. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button so that way you can see all my tutorials and videos as they come out. All right. So, a couple things we're going to need. The first component of this is going to be warp dust. And warp dust is made with an ender pearl and amethyst. Now, amethyst shards can be mined in the regular world. Um, they're not super, super common, but they're not also extremely rare either. You can find a fair amount of them, and it's really the only somewhat hard component in this entire recipe. Next is the warp plate itself, and for that you're going to need four of those warp dust, four stone brick, and one piece of flint. So as you can see, other than that amethyst, this is a pretty, pretty cheap resource. Okay, so warp plates will allow you to transport between two different locations. I'm going to set one warp plate here, and I'm going to set one warp plate here. Now, warp plates do not require any type of power or RF source. It doesn't require any fuel. Once you have it down, they're pretty much already ready to go. So this will be a very quick tutorial. But this is, making and using warp plates, is part of the progression steps in the Getting Started Part 1. Up here at the very top, you'll see Easy Base Teleportation. It wants you to make two of these warp plates. So this will also get you a progression step with a reward. You'll get two more warp plates just for making the first two. So pretty good return on that. Now, when you go to a warp plate and you right-click on it for the very first time, you're going to see this animation. It looks like something's feeding towards the middle, and it makes an attuned shard. Now, you're going to want to take that, set it in your inventory, and remember that this shard goes with this plate. It's very important to keep them straight. Okay? Then we're going to go over to the second plate and open it up. We'll see the exact same uh, little image there, and we'll have another attuned shard. Take that one and set it separate. Now, you take the very first attune shard that we had and put it in the middle of the second warp plate. Then we're going to return to the first warp plate and do the same thing with the second attune shard. So now we have two plates, and in each of them is a shard from the opposite plate. Now, all you have to do is stand on the plate, and you'll get a little image, and then you're there. It's that simple. And I have yet to find an, a, a maximum to the range. If there is one, I'd love to know. But I've set these things pretty, pretty far apart without any issues. And again, stepping on the second one, right back on the first one. So you can use these as often as you'd like. There is no cooldown, no fuel source required. It is 100% usable the moment you swap those shards. And you just use it back and forth as much as you want. Once you teleport, just standing there isn't going to send you back automatically. You have to get off and get back on again. And from what I've found, you can only attune two plates. Putting another shard in one of these four slots doesn't really do anything. I've tried to make it go three and four of them at a time. If you find a way to do that, please let me know. I'd love to have that. But even still, for as easy as they are to make, and as quickly as you can make them in the game... Um, especially before you've attuned or gained any type of flight, this is an amazing way to go long distance. Um, now, traveling with one and going the far distance and slapping it down is not going to help you because you still got to take that shard back to the very first one at your base unless you plan on going back and forth. Uh, but if you are going between two locations, maybe you found a village or a specific POI that you'd like to go back and forth between regularly, warp plates are an awesome way to go two centralized teleportation pads that you can use. Now, you can have more than two warp plates in play. You can have additional ones if you want, and you can swap their shards as well. They will not have any effect on the first two that we put down. The second two will be linked only amongst themselves. So there's no confusion as to which one it goes to. Put that in there. Hop on here. 
Boop. See where they're going to the back. So they are completely separate from each other. So you don't have to worry about them getting confused. With them. So you could have a room dedicated to these. Put a little sign across maybe a wall with the plate in front saying which one goes where. You have yourself your own little teleportation room and a little quick way to get around between very large distances. So that's going to do it for this one. Again, a pretty easy little tutorial today, but it is a progression step, so something you're going to want to do. And it's really just an easy, great thing to get a hold of as early as you can. It's definitely going to help you move around faster. All right, so if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put those down in the comments section, and I'll do my very best to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you may have for other tutorials that you'd like to see in All the Mods 8. I'm always looking for new ideas. Uh, you can also go to my website, OnlyDraven.com, and there's a space down at the bottom of the homepage where you can submit questions, feedback, or recommendations via email. Uh, it's always great to get a hold of me that way as well, should you need to. Again, I respond as quickly as I can. Uh, you'll also find on my website links to my socials and other great resources, so I do recommend checking that out. But that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.